My name is Arthur Moss Hawkins. I'm Enrique Vienna. And, and I, I went, went to, to the, the library. library. Uh, we went to the library to research for our senior year projects. That was our, our goal. Our destiny. Hey mom, um, Enrique and I want to go to the library. We met at Pulsifer Street, I believe, and we entered the car. She didn't feel like driving all the way, so she drove us home, and then I took over the responsibility of the car, and then we drove to the library. This old hag <laughs> is driving oh, really slow. She's turning right. Yeah! Woo! What's up, son? Ready for this? Parking spaces when we arrived, it was pretty brutal. It took us like, yeah, five, ten minutes, which is a lot for, I guess, a public space like the library. You know, you don't think a lot of kids go there because people hate reading. We're getting parking here. Are you kidding me right now? I totally have that spot clean. This is pretty exciting. I have never been to the library before now. I'm more into athletics. I'm not really into the whole reading books thing. I went there once and I rented Dead Space 2 for the PS3. I didn't give it back in for like six months. I didn't want to go back to the library because then I thought I would have to pay like a huge sum of money. But when I visited this time, I realized I only own $3. So I don't know how that worked out. Walked into the library and the woman at the front desk told us we had to go up to administration and uh, get permission to film in the library. Could we ask to get permission to film the library? People downstairs were like come up here. All right, you're gonna have to wait for uh, Ryan. So what's you guys say? Um, the people downstairs just told us to come up here. Right? Okay. We we're just, just filming a little piece. We just wanted to document visit to the library. She told us, the woman, Ryan, I think was her name. There's three things you can't do. The first, don't film library personnel. The second, don't bother patrons. And the third, find a study room if you want to film. All the study rooms are full and we're looking for a table now. And we basically broke all of those. Base camp was a hard find. We circled the library numerous times trying to find a study room or a quiet place to to start our research and we finally stumbled upon base camp, in, base camp in the far left corner of the library. It was pretty exciting. Are you interviewing me? What is happening? Uh, yeah, we encountered an alarming amount of students in the library. <laughs> so, why are you at the library? I just asked them uh, a series of very appropriate questions. I'm stalking you. No, no, really. Why are you at the library? My brother's returning books. I'm at the library to study. There's a barcode here. I scan it. A new barcode comes out. I stick it here. How long have you been doing this? Since September. Oh, that's, that's... Why did you decide to do it? I had nothing to do with my time and my life. That's kind of sad. Getting that. Um, you're getting him? Hmm. You're not here to research for your SYP? I was here to study, actually, but I brought my own books. You oh, know, I see. I don't need these academics or, you know, intellectuals telling me what I should read, what I should know. How often do you come here? <laughs> um, it's every couple of weeks. If you're going to pick an adjective that describes the library, what would it be? Not on fire. All right, that's pretty good. So, uh, if you were to able to describe a taste to the library, what would it be? A taste? Yeah. Like a food? Mm-hmm. Probably not very good. Mm, why not? I don't know, it's more like a bed than a food. Oh, like, like a bed. it's a comfortable place. It's not like I want to eat it. If you were going to assign a, a, a flavor to the library, what would it be? I don't know. 
Something bland. Something bland. All right. That's it. Thanks. Like an ice cream flavor? Like an ice cream flavor, for sure. I got nothing. <laughs> Sign a color to the library. What would it be? Well, Enrique, it would have to be shit. Because that's what this building is. A shit. Arthur found a bunch of books on his subject, but mine's quite of a, a, a niche, really. It's about B-movies. And I found two books specifically, both of which Arthur had found because he's awesome at looking up stuff, I guess. One of the books called The B-List is a great primary source for my paper. This is so good. Got my, got my focus on. Got some good reading in, got some notes, updated my research a little bit. It was a pretty good research day. We're done. Done studying. Gonna go check out the books that we uh, studied with and at home. So we just checked out checked out our books. Now we're gonna get a bite to eat at Vanessa's Cafe. I got some uh, Reese's. Got my Nutter Butters. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're on the streets now of we, Newton. Now we cruising back to Enrique's pad. After a 5.36, we've been there for like two hours. Yeah, pretty good day. Two solid hours of investigating. Which street do I turn off again? Yeah, no, you turn off the next street. It's in the street in my house. I was going to the, the front door, and when I was walking up to the front door, punk. And Arthur was just like, oh shit, I gotta go. And then he left. And that was our, the end to our magnificent day. It was a real adventure to the library. And I'll catch you next time when Enrique and Arthur go to the movies. <laughs> was that good enough? Yeah, it was. Yeah, but you can't focus that. <laughs>